So these are the settings that you should change after getting Android 15. First up, you should enable adaptive vibration right now. That will adapt to make vibrations strong and light according to a certain place and time. For this, go to settings. Now sounds and vibration. Scroll down and now you will see vibration and haptics. Choose adaptive vibration and turn it on. So it says vibration will be adjusted automatically like when phone is in your pocket or in a loud place. By default this option is turned off so you should definitely check it out. Till now if you were using a webcam for your PC or laptop then stop using it right now after this latest Android 15 update. Simply connect your phone using a USB cable. Now scroll down and choose tab for more options. From this list, choose webcam. So that's it. Now you can use your phone's camera as a webcam for making calls and the quality will be amazing too. Plus a bonus setting is that if you were not using any kind of pin or lock, then start using it right now. Because every time someone connects with your phone using a USB cable, now the phone will authenticate like if someone wants to use file transfer option or webcam. So this is a lot handy if you are charging your phone using random computers or laptops. If you want to delete an app for some time then make sure not to delete data of this app. For that simply long press on an app. Now tap on more information and from here you can archive this app. So by archiving this app whenever you reinstall this app all the available data will be back from where you left, like the login details, your saved information and more. While screen recording for a tutorial or if you are just sharing your screen with somebody, then make sure to choose that single app. This will only show that specific app and there will be also no notification pop-ups and alerts from other apps while you are recording or sharing screen of your phone. Next one is the most important and that is theft detection lock. Now it is finally here for Google Pixel 9 and it is also available for many other Android phones. So you just have to go to settings, tap on security and privacy. Now choose device unlock and tap on theft protection. Turn on these two options and you're good to go. Also make sure to turn on remote lock that is right here. In this way, whenever your device gets lost, all you have to do is that go to android.com slash lock and you can log in with your details and lock that phone remotely. This is just like find my device feature, but I think a bit easy. Brightness plays a big role in saving battery life of your phone. So now we have this new mark at 50%. That means ideally you should keep it at 50% and Google this time has added a small circular mark. I think you can see it right here. And this is to highlight 50% option. For a bit more security, Turn on this Wi-Fi setting right now that uses a random MAC address. For that, go to Wi-Fi settings, choose your Wi-Fi and now tap on privacy. Select this first option that says use random MAC address and turn off this toggle that says send device name. So it stops sharing device name with the network. If you go to developer mode, now scroll down, you will see this option that says disable default frame rate for games. This will allow certain games to go beyond 60Hz because Pixel phones have 120Hz display. So why not use this option? In the end, no need to install any third party app for locking photos and videos. All you have to do is that enable private space and this option is in security and privacy. Now choose private space, set up this private space and set a new lock. This can be a different lock for this private space. Now you can store anything here within this space that will be not shown in your regular apps. And this private space is sitting right here at the bottom of your apps section. So these were some settings that you should check out after getting Android 15. Which setting you are going to change? Let me know in the comment section. And with that said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, bye bye.